wonder what people are thinking? I don't. I know. The secret isn't hearing people's thoughts. The secret is making it stop. I've been doing both for as long as I can remember. Way before I ever heard the word telepath. Still, when God hooks you up with free cable, you gotta think he expects you to do a little surfing. Hmm, if he could only read my mind. Should have worn something else. I need another buck. This on the floor. Is this yours here? Hey. Hey. We're late. I had to eat. So what else is new? We gotta go. Can I get a cup of coffee? Good mine. So were you with Olivia last night? For a while, yeah. Oh, and that's why you slept in. No, my alarm didn't go off. You know, they say insomnia is a common ailment for first-year paramedics. I don't have insomnia. It's just girl troubles. I don't have girl troubles either. Come on, you and Olivia get another fight last night? I thought we were late. Oh, we're late. It's not bad. I don't tell many people about my gift. I'm not into being the freak show at the party. Have a good day. Besides, who's gonna believe me anyway? You got any big plans tonight? No. You? Yeah. Who are you texting over there? You got another fight with Olivia. No. Olivia and I, we don't fight. We just have unique points of view. Why don't you two just give it up? We like hanging out with each other, okay? Did I say anything? Is it cool with you? Yeah, sure. It's your business, man. Look at me. Is it a migraine? I don't get migraines. You could have been having a brain aneurysm. I don't know. You know, in the paper, that 22-year-old swimmer just had a brain Oz, tumor. Stop. Please. I'm okay. I'll be okay. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Maybe. You gotta get yourself checked out. It's a little too intense for me. I know. Whoa. What? Someone in there? Yeah, I don't think she's conscious. Hey, get the door. Ma'am! Hey! Hey, can you hear me? I'm gonna get you out. She's conscious, Oz. All those doors. Now they're both locked. Uh, Toby? Oh, we gotta move. Look what I found. Toby, this car's on fire. Move, move your head! We're gonna break the window. Move! Toby! Move! Careful, Toby. Careful. Come on, Toby. Toby, hurry. You okay? Yeah. Oh, got it? Yeah, yeah. Come on. I thought for sure it was gonna blow. It's not a movie, Oz. It doesn't happen that way. It's okay. These guys are going to take good care of you. Ma'am, you were alone in the car. Is that right? Thanks. We better get to work, eh? Fine, thank you. All right, well, just in case, I'm driving today. All right, well, let's see what Mr. Silver Dollar has to say about that. What do you want, heads or tails? Tails. 
Tails, ride or drive? Drive. And I'm driving so you get your headaches checked out. Mr. Logan, Mr. Bay. Listen up. Do not come to me, okay, requesting overtime. It ain't gonna happen. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't ask for overtime. So. Yeah, I know you wouldn't, but he would. That little stop that you made before work? That was off the clock. Oh, it's my uh, overtime request form. Tuck in that shirt, Mr. Bay. God, I get grumpy when I can't watch wrestling. Hey, yeah, Mr. Ryder. Yeah, I TiVo'd that Iron Man Dr. Z match last night. Are you serious? Yeah. You know, don't tell me who won. I'll, I'll burn it for you. I'll bring it in tomorrow. How's that sound? Thanks, man. You're six years old. You forgot your fly. What? Soko. Good morning, Mr. Logan. Good morning, Dr. Fawcett. I hear you've had an interesting morning. Mm -hmm. So you were going to tell me your secret. You pull a woman from a burning wreck. That's not worth sharing. Well, you know, it's just another day at work. Humble and handsome. Killer combination. Olivia, OK, wait. All right. Hey, what does that mean? That I'm having second thoughts? No. You? Me? No. Good. Yeah. So we obviously make better friends than we do lovers anyway, right? Absolutely. So no reflections on anything? No, no, I agree. Right. Listen, I have to go. OK, so Liv, are we on for drinks Friday? Um, I'll check my calendar. Right, OK. Um, you know, I was going to call you and tell you tonight about But my mind. I've been so distracted lately. <laughs> right, lately. Well, come on, I used to think that was kind of charming. I really think this can work. Yeah, yeah. If you wanted to. Okay, if you wanted to, I wanted to. Why don't you just take Oz out? He seems like your biggest fan anyway. Ma'am, you were alone in the car, is that right? Is that right? Not so easy being a hero, huh? I need to talk to you. So, Detective Marks, you're here to investigate the accident? Yeah, I came to get a statement from the victim, Anna Sokor, but the docs have her on pain medicine. So I think she's gonna be out for a while. Did she say anything to you about what happened? No, no, she was uh, really out of it when we got there. That's it? Yeah, yeah. She's lucky to be alive. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Uh. Actually, you know, it was a bit weird. What was weird? Well, we got there and she was jammed up under the passenger side like she wasn't driving. So you're saying you don't think she was alone in the car? Maybe she was tossed when the collar slipped, I don't know. Guess that's what happens when you don't wear a seatbelt, huh? It's true. If you think of anything else, please give me a call. Yeah. Thanks. My pleasure. We're only beginning to scratch the surface in our understanding of the mind. So you really think thoughts can be turned into zeros and ones? Well, we know that neurons fire, that synapses communicate, that memories have their own chemical signatures. But you're implying that thought can be recorded, replicated, and transmitted. Maybe one day we'll understand the physics of thought the same way we do the motions of the planets. So stop me if I'm getting too lofty. Sometimes I can't tell. Excuse me a minute. I see the race shows up and running again. Standing room only. How do you get tell me? Need to talk, right? All right. Come on. But I still don't understand what makes this so different. Well, I was shut down, right? I wasn't looking for contact. The thoughts, the images, everything it just hit me hard, right? I couldn't stop it. The source, this woman, she was a block away. She might have been more when we first connected. So your range is increasing. That's not what this is about. No, no, I get it. It scares you. There are thoughts to go over. I couldn't control it. But from the sounds of it, you really helped this woman out. You probably saved her life. It's not the point. Maybe it is the point, Toby. Cry for help was so intense, it broke down the natural barriers between your mind and hers. Are you saying I'm a human fire alarm? Feature of the intensity of the sender 
and the receiver. Do you remember how I was when they first brought me to you? You were a child. There was no way you could cope with that kind of assault on the senses. I always thought you'd reach a certain threshold. I don't want to be one of your experiments. This might be a very good thing, Toby. No, it, it isn't. It didn't knock you on your ass. There's something else. No. I have to do something. I might be the only one who can help this woman find her child. Be careful, Toby. No one can know about you. but it looks like she should be out of here in a couple days. The police were here to take a statement, but she wouldn't talk to them. You don't mind if I try? Well, I just want to see if I can help her out. Right, and since when do you do bedside service? Well, you see, now maybe I've changed more than you thought. Hey, how you doing? I'm Toby Logan. There's a guy who got you out of the car there. It's pretty close, huh? How you feeling? Should I tell him? Um... Do you remember what happened to you before? The accident? what happened. Get out. Get out. Get out! The car, Rick. I hesitated. I hesitated. No, you don't ask. It's... Now look, to the untrained eye, it might have seemed like I was scared. You never hesitated. What? Huh. I saw you, man. You were assessing the situation. You were sizing up a plan. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Now, had you not done that, maybe we wouldn't have got her out. Maybe I would have been blown up, too. I guess you could say that I kind of saved all their lives. I guess you could kind of say that. Yeah, okay, well, you know, Toby, I just want you to know that I'm, I'm watching your back. I know you got my back, man. Hey, Toby. Yeah? Watch your back, all right. Toby, what exactly did you say to her? Who? Anna Sokor, that accident victim you brought in yesterday? Nothing, I just, why, what is this about? She's gone, and she disappeared sometime after you spoke to her. No, you can't. I live. I didn't say anything She to is her. in bad shape. She's got a concussion. I tried to put in a phone call to the cops to check up on her, but they pretty much blew me off. All right, so you want me to go out there and find her? Yeah, she obviously doesn't realize how bad her condition is. Here's her address. Find her before she walks in front of a truck, okay? Is it? Yeah. Ooh. All right, so it'll be five minutes. Is that cool? If well, she's there, we got a better place to look. I'm just gonna get a cup of coffee. I get a double double, please. Shot of vanilla. How do you do that? It's like, I don't know, you read my mind. It's That's just... a gift. It's amazing, really.
Do you know the girl in this apartment, Anna Sikura? Of course. Okay. Has she been by today? No. Don't tell anybody you've seen me, okay? I know she probably told you not to tell anyone. Does Anna Sikura live here? I haven't seen her. Foster told me that Anna took off from the hospital and she wanted me to see if she was here. And so how'd you get in? The door was open. Can I see your keys? Hmm? Your keys. Can I have a look at them? Yeah. Well, look at this. Yeah, those are the keys to my bike lock. Actually, it's a bump key. The only thing to get you through a tumbler lock faster is a swift kick. Oh. So is this how you do it? You drive into the hospital and you come back with a shopping list? No. That's not how I do it. See, we get a call from a widow who's gone into cardiac arrest, and we show up, and the door is locked. And we have to wait for you guys to show up to bust the door down. And while we're waiting, the patient dies. Excuse me. Oh, um, I just have a question for you. Who's taking care of Anna's son? What son? Well, while I was in there stealing craft dinner and paper plates, I, I noticed a picture of her and a young boy. And you assumed it was her son? Oh, yeah, that's right. She said she didn't have a family. Why would she lie? Well, maybe she was afraid social services would come and take him. Might explain why she left the hospital in such a hurry. So she's out there with a head injury. Who's taking care of her kid? your name, isn't it? I told you to use the phone. I left you. Don't play games with me. Call. Nikki? Hey, kid. Nikki! What are you doing down there? I was scared. Scared of what? The people you said who were coming to get me. Okay, listen, I told you, you're safe here, right? Nobody can find you. Get out of there. I'm sorry, I'm scared. Come here. Listen to me, okay? I told you to sit in there and watch TV. When's my mommy coming? I don't know. It's going to be over real soon, okay? We're going to figure this out. I'm gonna figure this out, and uh, I just gotta get in touch with your mother. Okay, let's call her. Anna. I'm getting really disappointed that I keep hearing this machine. Nikki and I really need to see you. He's scared. Next to my call, I hope you're there. Hmm? Just stay by the phone! I'd like to talk to your mother. Hey, Mommy. I miss you. And I 
I wish you could get here. I love you, Mommy. Toby, say it. Toby. Toby Logan, say it again. Toby Logan. That's the only name you've ever had, okay? Toby? Ray? I knocked. Door was open. Haven't heard from you. Left you a couple of messages. I know, I just, uh, been a little, uh... You don't have to read my mind. No, I'm worried about you. And I'm sure there's a lot more going on than you want out there. Well, Ray, it's just this, this change somehow. It's, it's making me remember my past. How far back? I can't piece it together. It's all fragmented, and I'm not even sure it's things I want to remember. What are you afraid of, Toby? From what little I know about my mother, she had a gift to her. She was possessed by the voices, and it drove her out of her mind. You afraid that's what's going to happen to you? Yeah, wouldn't you be? We'll get through this. for a couple days, so they want us to team up. Just keep an eye on that's all. Fresh case coming. A lot of dead ends. What you got? Anna Sokor, 28, single mom, works at a local diner. They haven't seen her in two days. Father? Not in the picture. Check out her place? Yeah, Super says she pays her rent on time and keeps out of trouble. What about the kid? What about him? How old is he? From the picture I got, maybe five. I went to his daycare. They haven't seen her. I have a parent list. Parents mingle, so if she's in trouble or she's scared, maybe she confided in someone. All right, let me know what you find. It's odd. I saw her car pull up, but they never came in. Sorry I can't be more help. I'm sure it's not. I'm sure. OK, good well, one. good luck with that. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. So worried about this boy that you came all the way to the daycare to see if anyone knew anything? Yeah, yeah, and you were right. No one knew anything. How'd you know about the car? Well, these little kids as I was walking out came up to me and said I should check out this car. It's been here for a few days. And these kids just conveniently disappear and you, out of idle curiosity, pop the trunk? Yeah, idle curiosity. Yeah. Then you decide to pick up the phone and call me. Why me? Because you're the only detective I know. What is with this big turnout? Was this guy important or something? He was a cop. 
No kidding. The entire force is gonna be all over this. Especially his partner. Found the body? Yeah, that's right. The cop in the city was out looking for my partner and some off-duty paramedic finds him. How does that happen? Mike, I can help us. Becker, somebody killed my partner. I know, you better Mike. believe I'm gonna be all over this. You have no idea who did this? No, who, who is this guy? I'm just saying, I have a partner. I know where he is all the time. And you gotta have some idea why this happened. What are you trying to say? Mike, what are you trying to say to me? I'm not be cool. Turning myself in. Put the gun down. I'm not too cool. What are you trying to say to me? Huh? What are you trying to say to me? Hey, 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 hey. We'll handle this. What the hell was that about? I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. Well, you're still going to have to come to the station and give an official statement. Let's go. Let's go. Earlier today, the body of a police officer from 35 Division was found in the Parked outside the early Rainbow Room daycare in downtown Toronto. Joanna? Jerry from the pawn shop told me to give you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. We don't need any formal introductions. You got 200 bucks? Okay, well, you got choices. I just want a gun. Okay. Automatic, semi-auto, revolver. I don't care. Yeah. Okay. This is a 38 caliber. It's lightweight, dependable at short range. You gonna get in close? I don't know. I... Okay, look, the serial number is gone. Untraceable. You didn't know how to hold one of these, right? No. It's like you're shaking his hand. Thank you. There you go. Time bonus on me. So how much do you know about this dead guy's partner? Henderson? He's a guy's guy. Probably came at you because he stepped over the line. What if he had something to do with it? With what? His partner's dead. You think he killed his partner? A woman and her kid go missing for two days. A cop goes missing. The cop is found dead in the trunk of a car near the kid's daycare. Daycare worker said the woman was there the morning of the accident. What if she witnessed the murder? Wrong place at the wrong time? If you need anything, call. Right? All right. Sorry, Mike. Who is this guy? But we still don't know where the woman or her kid are. Unless, of course, you can enlighten me. I don't know who she is. She said she was scared of something and that she couldn't go to the cops. And you just remember this now? Why didn't you say anything? Well, you told me to stay out of your business. Marks. Be right back.
I was expecting a call, but I'm glad you dropped by. A reason for going through that stuff? Hey, how you doing? I'm doing fine. Good. How'd you get in here? Well, Mike left the door open for me. He said he's gonna be by in a few minutes. He left for his cabin a half hour ago. He hasn't left for the cabin already, has he? Mike and I are pretty close. Your neighbors and all. I don't think I've seen you around before. So where's this place? Mike's cabin? Pull Heart Lake out of your ass, pal. Oh, Heart Lake. You know, maybe I'll just drive up there myself. Yeah. Sounds like a good idea. Thank you. This is Charlie Marks. Leave a message. Detective Marks, listen, it's Toby Logan. Henderson has and is secure. His neighbor told me he's taking them up to his lodge on Hart Lake, north on Highway 47. I play poker up there. It's about an hour north of here. Let's just hope we have an hour. Logan, it's Detective Marks. Give me a call back now. He's a policeman. He'll protect us. That's right, Nikki. That's all I want is to protect you and your mom and everybody from all the bad people. I, I want you to sit here, Nikki. I want to sit with my mommy. I want you to sit here. You have to do something now. You have to take them into the woods. Just let us go. I won't say anything. I can't do that. I didn't see anything. Don't lie to me! You saw us that morning. We're gonna go for a walk. No. This has to end now. Look, just do whatever you want to me. Just let my baby go. to do this. How the hell do you know? They had nothing to do with this. They're innocent. Your partner's death. I know it was an accident. I know you didn't mean to. You don't know anything. I know you were a good cop. You can stop it right now. 
Henderson, let him go, man. I have to finish this. <laughs> hey, hey, grab my head. Hey, come here. Grab my head. Come grab here. his hand. Grab my head. Oh, come on. Nikki, look at me. You can trust me. Take my hand. Good boy. Good man. <sighs> So what is it with you? What do you mean? How'd you know Henderson was bad? And don't say it was a hunch. Okay. I have a gift. You have a gift. <laughs> don't we all? Nice to meet you, Toby. You too, detective. So, I hear you've had a rough couple days. Yeah, it's been interesting. You're not gonna tell me about it, are you? Maybe you wanna grab a drink, I can tell you all about it. I'm off in an hour. Sounds good. Great. All my life I told myself, turn it off, shut it down, make it go away. Today I broke the rule. I stopped looking the other way and I saw the truth. This isn't a curse, it's a gift.